In this video, I'm going to show you 10 of the advanced features that I particularly like in Camtasia. So to save you time, I've written up on the screen the list of the main ones that I'm going to cover. There are in fact a few more. If you know these things, and obviously it's not worth watching this video, but if you don't know these things, then watch this video because it's really going to help to take your level up to a more advanced level when working with Camtasia. One final thing, if you happen to be watching this video before the 10th of January 2024, then there is a great opportunity to come along to a free webinar that's being sponsored by TechSmith Camtasia, where I'll be presenting some more of the features I like in Camtasia 2023 and talking particularly about making educational videos. You'll find the link in the description below. And one final thing, you can sign up to that webinar but not attend. In that case we will send you 24 hours later the recording of the webinar right let's get going the 10 features that I really like using in Camtasia and this will take your level up a little bit higher so this first feature is absolutely fantastic and I use it all the time. If ever you've got like a bit of video that you've made in Camtasia, but you've coughed or you've done something wrong and you just want to cut it out, you can cut things out completely. And I'm just going to show you how, and it will do it just with literally with one click. Watch this, this dot com. <coughs> so I want to delete that. And all I'm going to do is place the playhead just before I'm going to pull out this little red part here on the side like a little tab now I'm going to right click and the one that I'm going to look for is called ripple delete now this is just fantastic because it will cut that out but it will also bring the video together as if there was never that part cut out watch this a click it cuts it out you see a little line here this is where the ripple delete is and now let's just play that video you'll see there's no cough at all quizzes.com this is a really great, absolutely fantastic, and I use that feature so often when I'm working with Camtasia. Without a doubt, one of my favorite tools in Camtasia and one I continually use all the time is the ability to animate and to kind of focus in. So I'm on the tool here, and let's imagine we really wanted to focus in on this area here where we've got the title. What we can do is we simply use this here, We come over to an, an animations and then we just drag in we can bring it in really close and what I, what I like is this ability to kind of position it so let's say I wanted to focus on the title okay I've even come in too close there so let's just pull it out a little bit so I can do that yeah I can bring that into play and then I can leave that on the screen for as long as I like and say right at this point I now want to focus back out again and all I need to do is to click here and it jumps back out. Now, the what I really like is how smooth that is, because if I now play that, just watch this. I'll put a link below just in case you want to try out Camtasia. So there's a link there you can download and try it out for free for a limited, really lovely feature and one that I use all the time. Now I'm gonna show you another lovely trick here. Let's just play that video again, just the beginning of it. A link below just in case you want to try it. And now what I want to do this time is, yes, I've got this now focused in, but I really want to bring the attention of the, the people watching, the viewers watching this. So I'm going to come over to this tool here. So I've gone on annotations and I've gone on this one here, sketch motion. And I'm going to just place this drawing tool and it's kind of automatic. And if I just play it a little bit out Camtasia, what I can do is just move that. So it goes right around that. But even more than that, I can now come over to the properties here on the right hand side. And I'm gonna say, well, I want that to be drawn a bit thicker. So I can do that, I've got a nice thick line. So the result now is I can really focus in on what I want people to look at. So just in case you want to try out Camtasia, so there's a link. And the other nice thing is as well, you can choose other colors as well. So if you don't want to do that in red, if I wanted to do it in yellow, I could do that as well. Really, really nice feature. And the combination of the two works really well. The next couple of features that I'm going to show you are amongst my favorites. But just a quick point, if you do want to download and test Camtasia, I've put a link below. Don't forget, you can also sign up for the webinar, but there's a link below in the description. And there's also a link in case you decide you want to buy Camtasia. And with my links, you get an extra 10% discount. So there's a great discount on the educational version, for example. And finally, there is also a free course that I did with uh, TechSmith Camtasia a while back, and I've left that in the description below as well. Let's carry on now. We're going to look at masks, which I absolutely love. 
So we've got a bit of webcam recording on the screen here now, but I want to make this more interesting because I'm going to put an interesting background in afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to visual effects and this time I'm going to choose mask and I'm going to drop the mask onto the layer where the webcam is and instantly you'll notice that we get this lovely round effect here. Now if we also just click here, you will notice that there are in fact a few options as well. You've got a rectangle or you've got an oval okay so if you want that effect and of course what you can then do is move that into an into a different position where you might want it on the screen or you might want to make it a bit smaller or a bit bigger which you can also do and of course then if i've got say something else on the screen now like a powerpoint slide or something then that can be really nice so that mask feature is in visual effects and again it's one that i quite often use one brilliant feature that I haven't covered in these videos is library assets and the reason for that is that I've already done quite a detailed video about that and if you're interested I've got that on the screen now click on the link and you can watch that and also please if you can like the video subscribe to the channel share the video and even comment on it because it really helps me with my YouTube ranking right let's get back to our video now another really nice feature and to do this I'm just going to change the background color and make sure that we're contrasting with a different background color so that we can see this okay. Um, what I like is to again coming down the section that we're looking at again is going to be visual effects and we're going to choose this one here which is device frame and again we're just going to drop that onto the webcam. So what happens is you can now see that the webcam has been placed or my webcam has been placed in a kind of in a device frame in, in other words within a computer now the interesting thing as well is that you've got a few options here so if you come over to the right hand side to your properties um, with that webcam selected you could choose for example and I really like the um, MacBook Pro and there we are I'm sitting inside a MacBook Pro so that's an, another really nice feature that you can make use of it works really well when you're using your webcam and you want to kind of set yourself in a context people always want to know how I do the green screen so if I just bring this film here which I actually I did this on my camera on my telephone sorry I used my telephone to film this and it's me kind of talking okay and if I kind of bring it on, you'll see it's the introduction. Now, what I can do here is I can then add on behind it on the track below a background. Now, I'll choose, for example, this one here of the earth. So I'm just going to drag that on underneath. Okay, and in fact, this video starts with the earth and then it all changes. Okay, it's got different things on in the background there. It kind of changes quite nice. Now, how do I do the green screen. Well, the first thing that I would do is I've noticed that I've, the green screen doesn't have to be perfect. If I just click on the crop tool, what I can do is just click and crop that so that I'm just covering my where I'm actually sitting. Okay, so that's the first thing that I can do. Crop it. The second thing I do is come over to visual effects and I choose remove color and I select and drop that onto the actual recording or onto the webcam recording or in my case it was a telephone rather than my webcam and then I come over to here and on the remove color it says well what color do you want to remove when I say well use the color picker I want to remove this color and so now I am sitting on the screen go back now to this one here and I can resize myself of course and I'm sitting on the screen and I've got this lovely background now. You can see me, obviously I'll need to edit it where it starts, which I think is about here, just after I've clapped. So that would be the starting point. So I would probably click here, cut it. And that would then be my green screen recording. Now the, the secret to doing this green screen, and if I just bring on this and turn off the remove color, I just get rid of it, is to notice that I've lit up, I've got, a, I've got behind me, I've just got a green canvas. It's actually a piece of, um, I bought it online, just a simple piece of green canvas that sits behind me. But then I've got some lights in front of me that are lighting it up so that it's nice and even. And that's really important because what I want to do is when I choose remove color, then I want to make sure, of course, that it knows, okay, we're going to remove that color and that will remove all of it so it's really important to try to get the green screen 
lit equally and that's why you do need a couple of big lights sitting in front of you and a green screen you can buy them online very very cheaply and that's how i do this effect where you can see me and then you can see in the background um, a moving video or a moving background and of course i can put anything in here it could be an image it could be a video you know, if I wanted to change it, I could delete that. And then I could say, right, I've got some more media here. I've got various videos. Look, I could, for example, bring this one in and have this as my background. Okay, just to make that bigger. And so I can change the background if I wanted to have a different background. Very, very simple. It's a green screen effect I really like and I use it a lot, as you probably know, if you watch my videos. If you want to know more about green screen, then I've put a video up on the screen now. You can click on the link and watch that video and that will take you through green screen in more detail. And please, if you can, remember to like, subscribe and to share my video and also to comment on it because uh, it really helps me with my YouTube ranking. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. This is another technique that I use a lot in my videos. I'm just going to bring on here a piece of text or basically this is what we call a call out, but I'm going to kind of use it in a different way. I'm going to just drag it onto the screen. I'm going to place it like that. The first thing I'm going to do is come over to here and go to the properties of that object and I'm going to change it to a rectangle and I'm also going to change the color by clicking here and I'm going to select that color there. Okay, so let me even go for the yellow. I'm done that color there. So I'm trying to kind of get it to match something that is on the screen already in terms of the color combinations. Now I'm gonna just write in some text in here and I'll write some text and what I can do very easily is I can resize that text. I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna resize that text now. Okay, now what we've got at the moment then is at the moment is we've got me talking on the screen and suddenly a piece of text comes on. Of the advanced features that I particularly like. And I can make that way more interesting by just clicking over to transitions. And the one that I'm going to choose, and you've got a lot of transitions to choose from, is in this particular case is glow. And I'm just going to drop that on. And it really just changes the way that this comes onto the screen. Let me just show you. Of the advanced features that I particularly like in Camtasia. So if you use Camtasia, and we're going to work with Camtasia. Now you'll see that I do that a lot in my video. So in other words, I'm actually using a transition which we normally use to move from one video to another, but I'm actually using it for an asset, in other words, for a call out. This next tip is a real time saver. I always add my cursors at the end. Uh, once I've got all my videos ready, I will then just hold my mouse down and select the videos. And then what I can do is I can bring the cursor and drag it down and it will just drop into all of the videos, okay, where I didn't. And then simply what I can do afterwards, which is really useful, is that I can then edit. Now, one thing I always do is reduce the opacity down to about 60%. And that means now that we've got a cursor on every part of the video, you can see it's there and you can see it's not completely um, opaque, but it's a nice kind of where you can kind of see through and see what's underneath. So I find about 60% really useful and adding the cursor at the end also a great idea. Again, a feature I really love is this ability to add the commentary after. So we've got a bit of video here on the screen, but it hasn't got any commentary. And instead of adding the commentary when I'm making the video, when I do screen capture, all I need to do is to come down, click on more if it's not available and you're looking for voice narration. Now it's a really a good idea to mute timeline during uh, the recording. So you can't hear anything in the background. So if you've got any other audio on the screen, that will be muted. Make sure you've got your correct microphone connected and then off you go you literally click on start recording and it's going to record your voice at the same time of course of kind of showing you what's on the screen at that point so I'm just going to move the player to the right position off we go so I can add my commentary and any commentary that I add will come out and once I'm happy I just click on stop and then I just click on save and that commentary has now been added onto the timeline. It's that easy. Of course, you can edit it. So for example, if you found, which I did on purpose there, I didn't start speaking until a little while into the video, no problem, just cut that little bit off. So I'm gonna select that, cut that off, okay? Because that's obviously silence. And then I'm gonna bring the video back. So we've now got the commentary starting at exactly the same point as the video starts. Let's just play that and see if it works. One of the best features 
so I can add my commentary and any commentary that I add will come out and once I'm happy I just absolutely fantastic so useful to me when I'm working with Camtasia the next feature I'm going to show you is called Camtasia Rev it's basically means that when you make a video at the beginning you can uh, turn Camtasia Rev on when you're doing a recording and I'm going to go full screen and I'll even put on my webcam so if I just click here and hopefully it will just come on in a minute there it is okay so just because then you're going to see this in action as well and I'm just going to do literally a quick recording with Camtasia Rev on so I click on start and I'm just going to record for a few seconds Ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance, please come along to my free webinar that's going to take place on the 10th of January 2024, sponsored by TechSmith. We're going to show you some of the best features in Camtasia when making videos for working in education. So I've done my video and I'm just going to save that there. That's fine. And now Camtasia Rev opens up and look at this. It's kind of it does all the work for me first of all it says well what size and i say well i have that sizing one it's going to say well what layout and i've got all these layouts that i can choose so i can you know jump and choose between all, all sorts of layouts how i want to be because uh, <laughs> i've got my glasses on there doesn't look very good but you get the idea okay i was just doing this kind of really quickly but okay let's say i like that one there that might be nice so i'm going to go for that then i choose my background and say well I, I like that background okay that kind of goes well with it and then i'm going to fix do i want any of these effects to to um be added on i'm not going to add any effects and then any filters now the filters can be nice especially when you're working with your webcam because if you've got a poor quality webcam like i've got here then you know the filters can really help um, and again what we can do with the filters look at all these filters that you've got and they of course affect some of them are not going to work that well some of them are going to be really good okay um, tasteful often works out well it doesn't look particularly good on that one but you get the idea so you can use these filters now if I now click on edit in Camtasia it opens that whole recording straight into Camtasia with all those settings done I haven't actually got to do anything look at that all done for me and if I play this video Ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance, please come along to my free webinar. And there we are, that's, that's so simple. So Camtasia Rev is a game changer because it can just make the production of your video so much more interesting. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads of content you can either scroll down on the front page or we do have actually a specific section on Camtasia videos if you really want to follow my work the best thing to do is sign up to the newsletter you get updated with all the latest videos the webinars that we run often for free and I do many with TechSmith um, the blog posts that I write as well as any courses that I'm running and also if you sign up at the moment there is like a 14 part free a video course in using technology in language teaching that's my specialization the use of technology in language teaching and that's completely free and basically it's a collection of the most popular videos that I've put up onto YouTube the other thing is you can connect with me from this website so if you wanted me to do some training with your organization then you can uh, contact me through the website I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now about Camtasia that you might find interesting